So what do you do if your Ubiquiti Bullet M5 never shows its SSID? So I kind of don't think you're ever going to run into this problem, but I'm making this video anyway just in case you do because I spent a few hours today trying to figure this out and I am very inexperienced with networking, networking hardware and software, and I've been working hard in the last few months to try to improve my education. So I really wanted to give up on this, but I, I kept searching and um, I'll, I'll show you what I found. So basically what was happening is that I would turn on my bullet and I have it set to access point. I basically had all the settings correct except for one. And that was the frequency. And I was misled because it had kind of worked well in the past. Um, and I'll tell you why that would happen. But basically I would look at my available, um, you know, things up here and it would never show up, it would never show up. Uh, so I wasted a lot of time basically just changing all of these settings one at a time to see if I could figure it out through trial and error. That didn't help. Here's what I finally figured out. Um, I found some support articles that all talked about channel. You have to set the right channel for your device. And I kept thinking that doesn't help me because on my device there is no channel setting. There's only frequency. Then I finally stumbled across um, this page, which has um, this whole list of five gigahertz channels and frequencies. Of course, there's a corresponding channel to the frequency. So then I opened up my, um, let me show you what I did. So up here in this menu about this Mac, and then you can go to system report, and then you go down to under networking, Go to Wi-Fi, then you look at supported channels, and you pick one of those. So if you pick 165, then go back to this list and find that channel. Then you'll see that at um, a bandwidth of 20 megahertz, the center frequency is 5,825. So then you go back to the settings, and now I can choose a frequency, 5,825. Once I selected that. It just popped up everywhere and it was immediately available. It was the one setting I didn't have correct. What I had it set to was auto. I just figured auto was better. I didn't know really what frequency was, so I just figured it would automatically handle it. That's why sometimes um, the bullet would automatically select a channel that was visible to all of my devices and sometimes it wouldn't. That's why it was so confusing. Why did it work sometimes and not other times? Why that channel width? I still don't quite understand that. So I'm gonna include some information here in this video about why that channel width and maybe you can figure it out. Um, but the only thing I can tell you for sure is that you have to have uh, the right channel width for the frequency. So for example, if I picked 165 and I had a 40 megahertz channel width selected, I don't think that uh, this would have worked. I probably couldn't have selected it either way. So uh, take a look at this list. This will be your guide if you ever run into this problem. Um, so I'm curious, have you ever run into this problem? Um, what did you do about it? Maybe I'm still doing this wrong. Let me know. Thanks.